In many ways, San Diego native Zachary Svida is like most teenagers his age. He enjoys spending his free time playing video games. He's working on passing his driver's license test. But it's his story between these lines that truly makes Zach unique. I started when I was two years old. I just loved holding the racket in my hand, hitting a yellow ball. Every single day I'd pick him up from daycare, he'd say, Daddy, tennis, Daddy, tennis. So we kept coming out, just kind of hitting the ball around, and just went from there. Get up, get up. Amazingly, he was not only making contact with the ball, but he was hitting it over. I approached his dad, I said, look, I've never seen a two-year-old, A, hit the ball like that consistently, and B, focus. And if he can do that, I'd love to be able to work with him and, and coach him. Nice footwork, Zach. Everything was based on his decisions. He was 11 and he goes, I'll just train. I don't want to do tournaments anymore, junior tournaments. You know, it was a risk. We heard there's no way this is going to work. There's not enough match play. You know, it was mostly negative. I started hitting with the college guys at like, I would say eight or nine. We actually had a college guy living with us for a few years. That definitely helped like a ton. Our pathway was always if we train him to play like a pro when he's maybe eight, nine, even if he doesn't go in, if he understands kind of the mentality, then hopefully he'll blossom into that when he gets to 16, 17, 18. After almost five years of playing not a single junior tournament, Zach decided the time was right and entered the top national event in the country. I asked him if he wanted to play Kalamazoo. He goes, well, if I do it, I'll do the 18s, because if I do win it, I'd be able to you know, play in the US Open. He did well. He did really well. Surprisingly, um, came through and won the tournament. It was amazing. I think, I think I actually had tears in my eyes. It was really incredible. I had no idea how I was going to do. I went out there saying, like, OK, I hope I can get a few games. Uh, a big backhand from Zach Zvida. We were pretty excited for him, but we knew that the nerves were going to start hitting him pretty hard thinking about it. And then he got the second set, 7-6. That's just well done from the 16-year-old. And then at two all, he was having a full body cramp. But knowing Zach, he wasn't going to default that match. Wow! How about that touch? That was his first ever ATP match, and he almost beat a tour veteran. I definitely took some positives out of that for sure, but I was so sore for like a week. Having such a strong result at the US Open at only 16 years old, Zach also caught the eye of many of the world's top pros. In Indian Wells, some of the pros started asking him to hit when they got there. And the first pro he hit with was John Isner, who he practices with a lot. I knew I was going to practice with John to be his hitting partner, but I didn't know I was going to practice with Roger and team and Medvedev, all these top guys. Roger, the last three days of the tournament, asked him to be his warm-up partner for the quarters, the semis, and the finals. I think that's the most nervous he's ever been in his life. Certainly, I think he's learned now that not only can he practice with them, but he can give him a good run for the money, I think, starting pretty soon. Next year, I'd like to be top two, 300, and hopefully just keep going from there. It's amazing to watch that growth. He has pretty lofty goals, and not knowing is even more fun. You know, just not knowing where it's going to go. Pretty awesome story. Uh, he's playing Marco Cecchinato, court eight today, guaranteed 75 grand either way. But how remarkable is it for him to win the National Hard Courts two times in three years? Couldn't play, obviously, 2020 because of COVID. You won National Hard Courts on the women's side, the 18 and under, and, and he had the pressure of being the top seed this year. Uh, I'm so impressed that he won it at 16 and with <laughs> no junior tennis experience. That doesn't happen very often. So often it's so hard to take a long-term view, and that's exactly what he and his team did there. We heard about that. But then to back it up a couple of years later, it was pretty awesome these last few weeks when all the Nationals were taking place for all the age groups. Everybody knows at Kalamazoo and the girls' 18s in San Diego, if you win... In. You're going to the big show at the U.S. Open. A lot of pressure. Three out of five set final for the boys. He came through in straight sets. And to win it twice, it's pretty special. With a year off, as you yeah. said. Yep. Now he gets another Italian. We saw two years ago, there was a sort of hum at the U.S. Open. There was this kid. He's a 16-year-old. He's playing Paolo Lorenzi, this top 40 veteran, 37 years old. And he's up two sets to love. And everyone sort of came to that court. And now he gets another Italian today. I don't know if you, in, in that piece, that uh, our friend Nitin Varma did, I thought was really well done. Could you tell how well this kid moves? And I think, you know, he's, he's not a big kid. He weighs 145 pounds. And that's, that's 25 pounds less than Novak Djokovic, who's known for being <laughs> slender. So he's going to 
have to play a lot of defense. Even in that video clip, you could see the movement that will serve him well. Listen, we saw in that piece, practicing at Indian Wells with Roger Federer, with John Isner, with Dominic Team. Guess who he was hitting with yesterday? Novak Djokovic. Oh, he okay. posted videos on Instagram yeah. warming up with Novak. I mean, how good is that prep for the match today? Yeah, and just to be around those kind of players and you see how they train and what they do in between. Uh, when they're breaking in practice. I also think that the two years of physicality is going to help him a lot today. A couple of years ago when he played in the U.S. Open, he cramped. He, he's had a few years also now to develop. He's learned more by being around players like that. And Cecchinato, he's more of a clay court player. Mm. He's not going to like potentially the very fast courts out there. The fans are going to be going crazy for him. I think it could be a really fun day for Zach. If I were a junior coach, I would be begging top pros to play with my player. Yeah. The amount of confidence that imbues what you pick up just by osmosis watching these guys. He'll play a first-round match. It's best of five. The guy just played with Novak Djokovic. How yeah. much more yeah. pressure could he feel today? Uh, probably less, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Zach Smita wishing you the best of luck today out on court eight at the U.S. Open.